What is up guys? It's your Average Joe. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the Starlink Mini and this is going to be the newer version. So if you're ordering it now at the making of this video, then you're going to receive this version. So let's go ahead and get to unboxing. All right. So for this kit, I got the car adapter with the DC plug and the long USB-C cord. Then this right here is the Starlink Mini. You got instructions right here on how to pretty much set it up, turn it on. Pretty much tells you how to download the app, set it up, and all that stuff. Then over here you get the power brick. Pretty big power brick. You get this pole mount right here. And this is actually a way that you can tell if it's a new version or not, is with this pole mount. The old one had a thumb screw. And this one has like a, just a normal screw, but if you turn it around, it actually comes with the Allen wrench right here behind to adjust it. I'm going to show a picture for you guys up right now on the difference between the old version and new version of this pole mount. So it looks like this. And so when you're shopping for accessories, make sure you get one for the new version. Unfortunately, a lot of the accessories that you see on Amazon is going to be for the older one. So please be aware of what you're buying because it will not fit with this newer version. So speaking of accessories, I actually found this mount right here. Now this mount is made by a company called Pow Grow. I'll put a picture of the Amazon link right here. So this is, the, this is what I bought on Amazon. And this one actually fits the new version of the Starlink, so the newer generation. So if you're looking for something like this, get the Palgro. I've tested it, it works, it fits. I went through three other things that, you know, didn't fit properly. Either it was too big, too long, but luckily this one works. And this one has the quarter inch mount right here. So if you had, say, a tripod or um, even like a motorcycle mount, kind of like this or and all you do is pretty much pop this out like this right and you put this one in and now you can attach any tripod or anything that uses a quarter inch mount so pow grow definitely i'm not sponsored by them but again it was so hard trying to find one and this is the only one that worked for me um this right here is the kickstand so you can set it up like that Plug it in through here. So now let's get on with the unboxing. So pretty simple unit. Let's go ahead and pick this up. Damn. This is the Starlink itself. Um, I would say it's maybe a little bit wider than a piece of paper, but it's pretty small unit. So there's a little cover for it. <laughs> yeah, see? Piece of paper, see? And yeah, this is pretty much it. This is the Starlink mount right here. Then of course it comes with this cord. I don't know exactly how long this is. I think it's like 40 or 50 feet. And I'll do my research and I'll I'll put the number up, the exact number up on the screen. But as you can tell, this is a lot of cord <laughs> right here. So then of course it has these instructions on the bottom. Um, that yeah, you guys can read that on your own when you get it. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. Now let's go ahead and start this up for the first time using the app. Let's go ahead and set this up. I'm just testing it out in my patio. Um, I just want to show you guys a little speed test and also a quick setup. So let's get to it. Oh, I took off the stock kickstand and I put the Pal Grow that I talked about earlier. This one just fits like this. And as you can see, it fits perfectly and so now you get the quarter inch adapter right here and now i can use it with any tripod um, this is like a cheap tripod that i use for my phone when i film um, this is made by a company called jolly can i'll put a link in the description below off the amazon link that i got this from so the reason i like using this to mount my starlink at camp is because you know with most tripods you can go left to right up and down like this so it makes it easier to tilt the starlink at its optimum optimum setting. And I'll show you guys what I mean by tilting when I get the app up and running. Let's go ahead and uh, put the Starlink on the tripod mount. What's cool about this tripod is I could actually take the quarter inch adapter right off the tripod, and then I can go ahead and screw this right on the back of the Starlink.
Now all we gotta do is plug it into a power source. So I'm gonna be using just a small little power bank right here. I'm gonna go ahead and use the DC and show you guys how many watts it takes. As you guys can see, it's pulling about 36 watts right now. That is usually how much it takes when it's starting up. But once it gets going and it's all warmed up, it usually drops down to about 25 to 30. So now that's plugged in, let's go ahead and see. So you can tell that the Starlink is on by this blue light right here on the bottom left corner, or depending on how which way you're facing, you're gonna see this little blue light blinking. That means it's connecting, it's up and running. All you gotta do is actually take your phone out and get the app. All right guys, so now that our Starlink is powered on, I've actually already set this up. Obviously you wanna download the app. Um, it works great on either iOS or Android, so it doesn't matter what kind of device you have. It works great with either one of those operating systems. So let's go ahead and go into the app right now. Okay, so what you wanna do first, what I like to do first when I first get started, obviously you're gonna set up your account, uh, you're gonna name your Wi-Fi, you're gonna make a password. Pretty easy and straightforward setup. But once you've done all those basic steps, you wanna go ahead, the first thing I like to do when I set this up is I like to go down here where it says alignment. So you go to alignment and you can see your Starlink right here. So from here, you could actually, right now I could tilt it as you guys see it's moving and it'll tell you which way to tilt it and just to get the best angle so this right here i'm showing you guys is one of the main advantage of using something like a tripod is that you could really dial in on the alignment on this thing since you could tilt it forwards backwards turn it left to right and stuff like that um, so like as you can see right here boom so once you see that little flashing square around your starlink like that that means it is perfectly aligned so i'm going to go ahead and tighten it like this and from there, Starlink is perfectly aligned. So that's the first thing I like to do when I set this up. Now, another thing you guys will see here is it says calculating orientation. Um, just know that it actually takes this thing about 10 to 15 minutes to actually get a connection, um, depending on where you are and depending on uh, you know where the satellites are. So don't expect this thing to, to get a connection right away when you set it up. Again, it takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to get connection. And on top of that, this thing will probably have an update. Um, if you don't use this often and you're going to take it on a trip somewhere overlanding or camping or somewhere remote, you definitely want to turn it on the night before and get it up to date. That way you're not spending time updating it in the middle of nowhere because that also eats up your data. So I'm going to wait for this thing to calculate and get a connection. And then also it might have an update. I haven't turned this on in over a month. So the last time I used it, so it might have an update. So I'm going to wait for all that to be done and then I'll get back to the video. All right guys, looks like we're up and running. As you guys can see, it says it's online. Um, I don't really have a good clear view of the sky. Uh, as you guys can see, I'm literally underneath some trees and another patio. So it's not like I have a really good view of the sky, but you know what, let's go ahead and try the speed test anyway. All right, as you guys can see, so now we're gonna use the Ookla app. As you guys can see, it's connected via the Starlink right here on the bottom, Ookla app let's go <laughs> and the only reason we're doing this is i heard that the starling kind of boosts their numbers with the speed test not exactly sure if that's true or not but you know what let's go see what we get through the speed test ukla app Now they do have the regular Starlink. Again, this one is the Starlink Mini and they do have the bigger one, but the bigger one I know runs like 100 plus watts. So it sips a lot more power. So I like this one, how you can plug this in to you know a power station like that or even your car. You know, If you don't have a power station, you can still plug it into your car if you needed that signal anywhere you're going. So another use that I have for this is I actually work remotely. So if my internet ever goes out here at home, you know, I can set this up and still be able to work. And also it lets me take my work wherever. So I've actually worked in the middle of forest before, in the middle of a desert before, and you know, this thing works amazing. Obviously right now uh, we're obstructed with the trees and the patio right above me. But when this thing is in open airspace, I'm telling you, I've gotten as high as 250 megabytes of download, which is, amazing in the most remote location so our area is prone to power outages unfortunately 
um, we live on top of a mountain. So whenever there's a huge thunderstorm or just heavy, heavy rains, uh, we've had our power out for as long as half a day before. So with that, I won't be able to work. But with this, I'll be able to set it up here and you know be able to still work remotely. Okay, so another pro tip with the Starlink is when you're using this thing is, you know, if you want to download movies for your camping trip, I suggest you download them at home. That way you're not using so much data to download them when you're at camp. Again, you are limited with the amount of data that you have. You don't want to waste it downloading movies that you could have downloaded the night before. So again, that tip along with the putting your phone in low data mode. If you have an iPhone, put it in low data mode. If you're on Android, put the data saver mode on. That way you prevent yourself from using a lot of data. Like I remember the first time I used this off the grid and I had to, you know, check an email for work. Literally my Facebook, my Instagram, all my social media apps, my emails, my work messages, everything just kind of popped up once it connected. So I probably use like one gig of data just accidentally by accident, you know, forgetting to turn the data saver mode on. So that's another pro tip. And of course, like I talked about earlier, you wanna go ahead, if you're gonna use this for an overlanding trip and you know you're gonna be somewhere remote, you wanna go ahead and make sure that you update this before you go out. So maybe the night before, just set it up, you know, let it do its thing, check to see if there's any updates. That way you're not using any data to update it while you're on the go. And just another thing that I wanted to talk about was the cost of plans. So when you first sign up for this thing, they're gonna automatically start you off at the 50 gigs, which is $50 a month for 50 gigs, and then it's an additional $1 for every uh, gig that you go over. Now, you can't change this until after the first month, but after the first month, you could actually get the $10 a month plan, which I'm on, because I literally only use this for emergencies. So obviously most of us overland to disconnect. So I'm not using this Starlink so I could stay connected and you know just be on my phone all day. So what exactly do I personally use this for? Emergencies. And what do I mean by that? Well, most of us overlanding community at least, we all carry satellite communicators anyway. It's been out for years and years. I'm talking about your Garmin in, in reaches or your Zolios. Um, there's lots of satellite communicators that you can get, but those are just emergency communicators. You know, let your family know like, hey, I made it, or hey, I need help, or in the worst case scenario, most of them has have SOS buttons to where if you really needed like an emergency and you're somewhere where you're super remote and you have no signal way to connect to anyone, you can still get the help that you need if you were ever to be in that situation. So the crazy thing is I've actually already had to use this for that incident in the Mojave when my dog and I got stuck in the middle of Mojave, uh, Mojave, California. It was super hot, pretty much in the desert, no signal. I had to bust out the Starlink to call the towing company. Uh, long story short, my motor crapped out on me. I was six and a half hours away from home and I had to use the Starlink to get in touch with the towing company to come get us and tow my car to the nearest Ford dealership. If you guys wanna see that video, I'm gonna put that video in the description below. Um, we actually use this too uh, when I went overlanding in Tahoe National Forest. So if you guys wanna see me use this in a very, very remote area, we went overlanding in Tahoe National Forest in the middle of the forest, no signal whatsoever. And I use it to FaceTime my mom just to test the connection. So I'm gonna put that link of that video also in the description below. And I know I probably missed a bunch of things. Um, I just tried to make this video as quickly as possible for you guys. So if I miss anything, or if you have any questions about the Starlink, any of the plans, the setup, all that stuff, you know, make sure to shoot me a question down in the comments below and i am not sponsored with starlink i don't have an affiliate link for them but if you do own a starlink you can get one month off right now if you use my link in the description below um, pretty much that just gives you your first month for free and then it gives me a free month so it's a win-win for both of us if you wanted to try it so again that'll be in the description below i don't make any money off it we just each get a free month um, if you guys found this helpful please Give it a like, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. I'll put that adventure video right here if you guys wanna see it. If you guys wanna see us get stranded in Mojave, I'll put a link of that video right here. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.